finger. What is your name? What is your name? What's your name? I'll just say your name for the camera for crying out loud. Your full name, not 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 just your first name, your full name. Give me the full name. You said you didn't mind me asking questions. Full name. Come on. This is called a Rodriguez Passage. It's a documentary. Nobody's gonna see it. So after you're long and gone, Dad. What's your name? Full name. Full name. Where's Ray? She's behind me. Come on, old man. I'm trying. Even if you got some silly shit you want to say, go ahead. What's your name? William Rodriguez. That's your full name? William John Rodriguez. Okay, where's the John come from? How'd you get that in there? My, my father. Your father? Uh, named after anyone? Cousin? Is that named after Cousin Johnny? Named after my father. Okay, so your father's name was John. Okay. What year were you born? August 14th, 1947. August 14th, 1947. Okay, William. When, when growing up, you might have to think on this one. When growing up, what was the earliest childhood memory you can remember growing up? It can be positive, it can be basically your childhood. What was it like? Tough? Fun? Need a moment? I gotta pause this, if not, if so. What's the earliest childhood memory you can remember? That's your childhood memory? Yeah. Beating up your sister, huh? About this young, which one? The youngest one. Which one was that? I don't know, I don't know your youngest sister. Connie. Connie. What'd she do to make you do that? She changed the TV on me. <laughs> changed the TV on you, beat her ass, huh? Not that I'm condoning any of that, but this is the earliest childhood memory. Hold on. Pause. Let me say that question again. This is a I be, I be child, childhood memory you remember growing I up. I beat her up because she 
She went along, uh, along with Connie. Mrs. Prina? Were they teenagers? Yeah. Oh, so you were older than them, huh? You used to play pool with your dad? Yeah. At home? Yeah. You guys had your own pool table? No. There's a pool hall across the street. Where the hell is that at? South side of Pioneer. First memory as far back as you can remember of your father or mother. Other than the pool hall. Give me something else. Okay, start this off. Who are your sisters and brothers? My brother, Rocky. My sister, Connie. My other sister, Virginia. Another sister, Irene. Another sister is just do blood, blood only first. These are all blood. The other one is. Uh, yeah, Irene and Prino, right? Yeah, Farina. Call her Mary Rodriguez. And that's it. About Irene. I did mention Irene. Oh. Okay. And then your brother, your brother, you said rock. Okay. How did you guys live growing up? Like, what was your childhood like? Rough. Rough? We weren't rich. We weren't rich, huh? So what's that mean? Fighting for skirt food on the table? What's that mean? Give me a little explanation of how you guys lived growing up in your mind. Don't eat more than what you can handle on the plate. That's something Mom always said. <laughs> Out of all you guys, who do you think your mother's favorite child was? If she had a favorite. Me. You were the favorite? Yep. Okay, you gotta explain it a little bit. I was the one that helped keep the household together. Well, what's that mean? Just bills, what? Everything? Keep people from 
If you needed an ass weapon, you'd get one. And I didn't hold back on any of them. Who did you fight with most as a child? When I'm a child, I mean in like 9, 10, 11. Connie. You fought most with Connie? Why did, why did you and Connie fight the most as a child? Because she wouldn't listen to what I was telling her. <laughs> That's it? That's the reason why, huh? Mom okay it? You disciplining everyone? Or was that something you did on your own? No. Mom is at work most of the time. Okay. I'm getting somewhere. What's your favorite color? Don't have one. Just think of one. Something you might have thought of when you were a kid. I would say. Pick some without a meaning, it don't matter. Pick some with a meaning. Favorite color. Midnight blue. Midnight blue. What? Oh, wrong question. Did you finish high school? No. Okay. What year did you drop out? Uh -huh. Huh? What? What year did you drop out? Ninth, tenth. My second year. Tenth, tenth grade. In, in high school. High school. Alright. Well, do you wish you would have finished? Or you think that didn't have any effect on your life? Yeah. You wish you would have? What school did you go to? Pontiac Northern? Pontiac Central. Pontiac Central. Wasn't there a place you used to say you used to stop at all on the way home all the time? Get food or something? On that little coney place down there? Yeah. What was the name of that? But I'm done talking anymore, Billy. Exhausted? A little bit. Falling apart. Got some leaking water. But this is old man Willie's view that he gets when he comes out and smokes.
give you some more oxygen. You want to get better, but you don't want to take the steps to get better. How much has the world around you changed since you've been alive? How much has the world around you changed since you've been alive? I don't know and I don't care and don't ask me questions. What have you seen and experienced as a young man that would you like to change? Come on, man, you know you want to do it. You're just being stubborn. What have you seen experience as a young man that you would have liked to change? Could be anything. Could be a fucking president. What do you want to say about all the friends and loved ones that you know have passed or even fucked you over? partner out of love and no anger your woman your backbone for the rest of eternity it's all yours
What would you like to say to Amanda, Angie, Billy, Jennifer, Tony, Rick, Joe, and you fucking name it? Whatever the hell you want to say something to you. Now your chance. something I don't know something yeah you know, that night when you were in the hospital <clears throat> you know when you went in you had to get all you get to the point you stayed there for a while guess who works there Son. What son? Rick. Rick who? Birkin. Huh? Birkin. Ricking. Not Birkin. Ricking. Well, Ricky. You don't even know his name. Ricky Birkin. Birkin.
He's seen you. Did he recognize you? No. I didn't I didn't know what he looked like. Amanda pointed it out. For some reason Amanda knew what he looked like. But he's doing good. Looks like he's got a, his own little house out in the country. Wife, kids. What color is his wife's hair? Fuck, I don't know. I'd have to look on Facebook. I talked to him. Big guy. Big bone. Yeah, we all talked to him. We all met him that night. He was just as shocked about the whole shit as everyone. You know what the funny part is, he didn't know it was you in the room. Until Amanda said something. Amanda introduced herself. She was being all goofy. And afterwards, after it was all said and done, we caught me, <clears throat> Amanda's Alex. We kind of caught him peeking in on the room. Pretty sure he might have even uh, came in your room that night. Might have one. Might have even came in the room that night. I think he might have been your your. Uh, he might have came in there, and helped you get in the room or something. But we all seen him, you know, peeking in the room, trying to get a glimpse of you. And you want curious to see what was going on? What do you mean? Huh? What do you mean? didn't want to know what was going on. I knew. He didn't know it was you until, like I said, Amanda said something to him. And then we all called him into the waiting room up there. We all introduced ourselves. Oh yeah, he's uh, he likes to go to <clears throat> Silver Lake or whatever, do all the sand dunes, he hunts, likes all the shit I like. He's a. Uh, He's a friend on my Facebook. If that tells you much, me and him talk. He didn't have anything bad to say, but. Man, I him talk a lot because he's older. But I told him, you know, hey, it's good, uh, good to finally meet you. I don't want anything from you. I didn't want him to think we wanted something from him. And then uh, he said he's got a brother named Joe. A what? brother named Joe or whatever, Joel, Joel. Oh yeah, 
yeah, he was up there that night. So I'm sure if he had any shit to say to you, I'm sure he could have easily said it, but obviously he doesn't have any hate or thought towards the whole, whole ordeal. He was just as shocked as we were. That tissue's wet as shit. But I imagine he doesn't hate you. I don't care. Yeah. You talk a good game. But yeah, it was uh man <laughs> man his idea. What the hell are you doing? Pouring all your man out of my beer. You had ants in your beer? <laughs> How the hell did you get ants in your beer? You're an alcoholic. Huh? You're an alcoholic too. Oh. Maybe. How the hell did you get ants in your beer? Off the table. Well, yeah, it was uh, Amanda's idea to not tell you. I don't know why she didn't want to tell you because she said you'd be pissed off, but whatever. Figured it's something you would like to know. This is my conversation, this is my first conversation I had when I said, Hi, so it came to my attention today that you're my long lost half brother. I knew I had other brothers, but never knew how to contact you guys. I'm a very busy... How do you know these people are your half brothers? Why wouldn't they be? How would you remember? It's not about knowing. It's about knowing your history. You don't know shit about my history. You think so? Anyways, let me finish. You know what? Let me finish. You're a cracker shit. I might be a cracker shit. Let me finish. So, I said, but I never knew how to contact you guys. I'm a very busy man. I have a large family of my own. So I never have time to do research as extensive as my older sister. I was at the hospital also too, but I had to leave. My older sister had brought it to my attention. Kind of an odd way to meet each other under such circumstances. Nice to meet you. I'm William Rodriguez Jr. We all knew you guys existed for a very young age. As I was told by my mother, father, and sisters. My, but honestly, my father, our father, is a stubborn ass. And like a solid wall is like a solid wall to get through. Anyways, again, crazy way to meet you. But hey, what the heck? Life's short. You know what? He replied. 
I run across three guys in Waterford. That their name was William Rodriguez. One of them come up and told me he was my he was my half brother. I looked at him and says, "Yeah." I said, "Play another game." I says, "Cause if you were, you wouldn't be standing there where you're at." Never know. I don't know who's trying to brainwash him. Anyways. Billy, I'm done talking to you. I'm not talking. You don't have to say shit. I don't. <laughs> okay, so he responds, Yes, I know what you mean as far as being busy. It was good to see everyone. I think the last time I said any said anyone to you kids were just babies, maybe 1985. Like you, sister said she would always get together sometime. Hope you have a nice Easter. This was near Easter. I said, yes, happy Easter to you and yours. <laughs> um, get me in the house.